Hi, this is Lauren with Lubbock Lake National Historic Landmark, and this is Learning with the Landmark. Here at the Lubbock Lake Landmark, one of our main priorities is to preserve the native prairies of the Texas Southern High Plains. These prairies are home to a unique array of flora and fauna, which are profoundly affected by two main factors, topography and rain. Here in Lubbock, we only get an average of 19 inches of rain a year, and this rain mainly happens from late May to early June. After this rain, these prairies spring to life with wildflowers and grasses. So today, after a particularly rainy season here at the Landmark, we're going to show you what's blooming. Come on, let's go! The trail that we're walking on today is called the Wildflower Trail, and today we're going to show you why. So all of these purple flowers that you see blanketing the landscape are called basket flowers. Let's get a closer look! Basket flowers pop up every year from about May to July. They have these beautiful bright purple edges and a cream-colored center. At night, they close up, reacting to the lack of light. Just like us, they like to sleep. And as you can see, they are fantastic for pollinators like the American bumblebee. This clustered purple flower is called Plains Ironweed, and although it looks beautiful, most animals like deer and cows actually avoid eating it because of its bitter taste. Speaking of cows, these are cow pen daisies. They get their name from thriving in undisturbed soil, like the soil found in cow pens. This is a patch of lazy daisies. They get their name from their habit of waiting until about midday to open up. These small orange flowers are found on copper globe mallow. These flowers grow on long stems, with some of the largest ever found growing up to 10 feet in length. This large white flower is called a prickly poppy. It gets its name from its sharp, spiky leaves, so if you spot one, make sure to keep your hands off. These tiered purple flowers are called lemon bee balm because of their lemon-like aroma and their attractiveness to pollinators like bees and butterflies. These reddish yellow flowers are called Mexican hats. These flowers get their name from their sombrero-like appearance and would be the perfect hat for a mouse. These last flowers are some of my favorites called Indian blankets. They range from this deeper red color to a red-orange gradient. This flower gets its name from these vibrant hues, which are similar to those of traditional Native American blankets of the Southwest. <sighs> I'm spent. Good thing there's benches on the trail. I've shown you only a small percentage of the over 130 native wildflowers that bloom here at the Landmark, so come out and see what sort of wildflowers you can spot. Thank you for joining us here today at the Landmark to learn about our native wildflowers. We'll see you next time.